In this video, we will present a paper published in Nature Communications about unsupervised discovery of solid-state lithium-ion conductors. All solid-state lithium-ion battery is promising technology for next-generation energy storage. All solid-state battery uses inorganic ceramic fast lithium-ion conductors to replace flammable liquid electrolyte to provide improved safety and high energy density. A key challenge of all solid state battery lies in the inorganic solid electrolyte to provide high lithium-ion conductivity. Compared to the liquid electrolyte, a very limited number of solid lithium-ion conductors can exhibit a level of similar ionic conductivity at room temperature. Here we show a few most well-known examples of, of super lithium-ion conductors, including LGPS, beta LPS, agerodite, uh, lithium nitride, lithium garnet LaZO, perovskites. They have very different chemistry, composition, and structures. In our paper, we aim to answer the key question, what are the similarities among these superionic conductors? How can data-driven methods and machine learning help us to find new materials and provide new understanding? At the atomic scale, lithium diffusion happens through the hopping of ions from one side to another. Having a low energy barrier for ion migration is critical for have fast ion diffusion and high ionic conductivity. Computation work has shown the crucial role of ion framework in determining lithium sites and the migration pathway and energy barrier. For example, LGPS is shown to have a body center cubic ion framework where lithium occupy a tetrahedral sites and migrate with a low barrier of 0.15 dB. By contrast, phase center cubic framework give a tetrahedral, octahedral, tetrahedral migration pathway of 0.4 eV barrier, which lead to four order of magnitude lower connectivity. So how can machine learning be used to discover material? A major branch of machine learning techniques is called supervised learning. In supervised learning, machine learning models are trained on labeled data. A well-known example of supervised learning is for recognizing objects in images. You train on many, many images labeled with what's inside, such as dog or cat, and trained machine learning model can later be used to recognize new images, for example, to identify whether it's dog or cat in the image. The similar scheme of supervised learning is used for materials discovery, where the structures of materials can be think of as an image, their properties, such as activation energy or conductivity, are labels. Then one can use data to train machine learning model to recognize a correlation between the material structure and their properties. If machine learning model is successfully trained, the machine learning model can take input of new materials and predict properties. Then using machine learning model, one can discover new materials. For example, whether they are fast lithium conductors. Essentially, one builds a machine learning model with structure property relation using training data. However, in practice, there are great challenges for using supervised learning for materials. In many cases, there are not enough materials property data to train the machine learning models. This is a common dilemma. As when materials discovery is needed, one often do not have many good examples of materials, for example, the fast lithium conductors, and also a lot of poor examples have properties often not reported because of lack of interest. Another issue is that the materials property mirrored by different groups or methods often come with large variances. This also imposes a challenge for machine learning. To overcome these general challenges in applying machine learning for materials discovery, we instead propose a completely different approach. Instead of supervised learning to train model to predict material property, we adopt unsupervised learning to group similar materials. By grouping together good materials, we can identify a prioritized candidate list of good materials and furthermore, accurate material screening, for example, using first principle methods. So how can we find a similarity among lithium conductors? By looking at the structures here, it's not obvious how these structures are similar with each other. To have a quantitative way to describe similarity among materials, we go back to the century old techniques for diffraction used by material scientists to characterize materials. We computationally generate diffraction pattern of ion framework and indeed find that they are highly effective in distinguished different materials with FCC, HCP, 
and BCC IAN sublattice. Since unsupervised learning requires no data label, the property, we readily apply it to all lithium containing materials available in the ICSD database. We get the different differentiation pattern of ion framework, which is known to be crucial in determining ion conduction based on the existing domain physics knowledge. And then we perform unsupervised learning to class the diffraction pattern of all these materials. The results look like this. Each line is a diffraction pattern of one material. You can clearly see that there are a total of seven groups of all materials. Each have similar diffraction patterns. Here we plot our results in dendrogram. Each tip is one structure. Neighboring structures are mostly similar. The ionic conductivity of each material is shown in color below. Interestingly, we see most lithium conductors are classed into group five and six. In six, you see well-known lithium conductors such as LGPS, LPS7311, and lithium zinc PS4 which are expected because they are BCC ion framework. And you also see aerosol garnet and lithium nitride. In group five, you see no lithium conductors, aerosol beta LPS, agerodite, and lysicum. Therefore, our proposed unsupervised learning schemes can automatically separate good versus bad lithium conductors and class them. What's more, among the good groups, there are some materials do not have ionic conductivity. This becomes our prioritized target of further mature screening. For these unstudied materials in the two groups, we calculate the ionic conductivity using ab initial molecular dynamic simulations. We plot them here in these colored symbols. The best ion conducting material slides upper left for high ionic conductivity and a low activation energy. In comparison, the empty symbols are previously non ion conductors. So one can see our unsupervised learning is very effective in distinguishing good ionic conductor materials. In addition to materials discovery, machine learning also provides us new physical insight. The cluster of the groups is based on ion framework, which is determining ion migration. So group one is FCC, two is HCP, and three is BCC ion sublattice. Four, five, six are structures with slightly distorted ion sublattice. This minor ion distortion provides in large lithium sites for lithium occupying multiple positions, leading to geometric frustration and a disordering of lithium sublattice, which are essential in superionic conductor. More mechanistic studies can be found in our other studies. We propose and demonstrate our unsupervised learning method for materials discovery, alleviating the challenge of data scarcity. We find new materials and provide new physical insight for lithium conductors. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can learn more about this study in our papers and other related readings below. Thank you.